and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Anik, physical therapist. Yeah, there we are, the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, and of course. We're always ready Bob. to go, Brad. We're yeah. always ready to go. We are spot on. Today, we're going to talk about quadriceps, tendonitis, or tear. The single best treatment you can do yourself. This is an updated video. We actually did this in the past, and right. we're going to do a better job now. Because Absolutely. We're smarter and better, right? Well, say no more, Bob. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com because we're doing a huge giveaway. Just go to the giveaway section. We're giving away a sleep evasion mattress. This is just a sample of the mattress. And it obviously comes with a cover too, Brad. Yeah, and it's full size bed. Yeah, yeah, full size, whatever size you need. And it's got 700 tiny individual mattresses. Right. Makes it very comfortable. Brad and I can both attest to this. We love them. Um, they will also give away a couple pillows. Um, so, and this pillow actually has springs in it. Yeah, that's a very unique thing about that. And uh, you can't tell it's in it no. when it's together, but we just did that so you'd prove it. You know, we could pull one out. Uh, you there got rid of your sign too fast. Oh, uh, we'll also go to, you can go to Facebook and it'll be pinned to the top of the page, the contest that is. You can go to TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram if you want a 60 second version of our program there you go. each day. Each day, each and every day. Yeah, we don't take vacations, Bob. <laughs> Well, at least on the videos. Yeah. So, Bob, we want to talk about quadriceps, one of the largest muscle groups. They all work together pretty much in our bodies, right here in our thigh. Uh, and those can, you know, get strained. They can have yeah. a tear, a uh, micro tear. Uh, that's what we're going to talk about. So, I could actually be the poster child for this video, Brad, okay, because no I, I, I had tendonitis on both quadriceps, and it was from lunges. I, I apparently. I was doing them right, but I, I did them too, you know, I advanced them too quickly. And uh, I, I had trouble with this for a long period of time. I, I don't think you were doing them right, Bob. I, I, I was doing them right. I just, <laughs> I, I just. I know, I'm just at kidding. At my Bob. age, <laughs> these things happen. Where are we going now? Now we want to talk about where these quadriceps okay, are. Sounds good. We're going to get Sam over here. Um, and. Because where the muscle actually attaches on both ends is, can be really helpful to know uh, as far as uh, how we're going to treat this. Now, if we look at these red marks on the femur, that's where uh, three of the muscles actually attaches on the femur. And then they all, and then there's one rectus, the rectus femoris, Morris, which actually, actually connects up to the yeah. pelvis right at that point. So it actually flexes the hip too. Right? Yep. So it's a biarticulate muscle. We don't want to bore you though. But the thing that I want to make a point is all four of these muscles come down and all four of them actually connect to the kneecap. And then from the kneecap, they go from the kneecap to the tibia. So they cross the knee joint here. Uh, but that area right there, all four of them go to that point. Oftentimes, that is the point of the tendonitis for, you know, with the that was me. That was the case with me. Exactly. It was right in this area here. So if we look at a, a real leg, and I do have a real leg, but it's not really worth looking at. But just bear with me. Here's my patella or my kneecap. So all these muscles connect in right here. We got the VMO, the vastus lateralis. I don't even have a rectus femoris that you can see. Um, they connect via a uh, tendon. Yep. So a tough fibrous right. cord that goes from the muscle and attaches to the bone. And there's actually another tendon below the, the patella or the kneecap that yep. attached to the lower leg. That would be the infrapatellar tendon. But we're not talking about that. Now you could have a strain up in the belly of the quadriceps up be in more here. Of a tear. Or tear, yeah, and you're going to actually treat that the same way. Uh, obviously, if you've injured your quadriceps, and you'll know where it, where you uh, did by by the location of the symptoms or the pain. Yeah, where the tendonous is. Right. If it's really painful and you push on it, whether it's here or up in the belly, and it's really tender and you can hardly walk or you're limping, you're going to need to rest it, put a cold pack on it, give it a day or two to relax. Uh, once it starts to feel better and you're able to walk a little better on it, then you can get into what the, the actual treatment we're talking about is the cross friction massage. Right. Uh, and this, this is no magical treatment that just came out. Uh, Siriax, Dr. Siriax right. came up with this decades ago. Right. He's long gone. Yeah. He, he's been gone for 30 years, I think. So, so. Again, let's assume that the pain is down here by the patella or the kneecap, 
and you know that's commonplace. The fibers of the muscle and as well as the tendon go this direction. So we're going to go on this area, find that painful spot, and if you can push on it, and we're gonna go across the fibers this direction. If you can move back and forth across there, no, you could use both hands or your fingers uh, like this. Now, if you push down in it, we're not gonna go superficial on the skin. We're gonna push into those uh, fibers. What we're gonna do is break up the scar tissue that's starting to heal as it's getting better, and we're gonna make that scar tissue heal up in a healthy, strong Long manner. Fashion, right. Right. Um, and we're not going to get into a lot of detail on that. You also get more blood flow to the area, which helps it heal faster. Exactly. Now, if this is a painful spot and you go over it and it's like, oh, God, that really hurts yet, hold off on it. You may want to just work. You can work above it. You, you could go below it, but you're getting into the kneecap. You're right. not going to massage your, your, your kneecap. Uh, but you can get up above it and let these muscles relax, get the muscles to relax. That takes pressure off of the injured site as well. And you can do this throughout the day because right. this is a difficult massage to do Yeah, with your hands. Exactly. I mean, they fatigue and they're, they just don't really get into the muscle because this is a big, heavy muscle. Right. One of your biggest muscles that you have. Yeah. Let's say you're, you've got that injured spot there and you start to go on it. It hurts. But now I want you to pay attention if after about 15 to 30 seconds, it starts to feel, oh, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. It actually feels kind of good or it feels kind of numbish. Then you're a gold and then you're going to keep working that. That's the key to this. Yep. Is that if you do this and it starts hurting worse and worse and worse, it's too flared up yet. Yep. You're going to want to go ahead and back off, maybe ice it some more. Uh, but if you're able to tolerate this and it actually starts to improve, like Brad said, this, this is the exercise or the massage for you. And you'll do it. You know, Syriac says up to 20 minutes, which is pretty much impossible because your fingers right. get really tired. Then you get tendonitis yeah, in your yeah, fingers exactly. or, or a problem with your finger joints. Uh, but you can do this until your fingers get tired, give it a break, and then come back a few hours later and do it again. Now, again, I had a personal uh, experience with this. Sure. Right? So I was doing that. Yep. And I was also doing eccentric strengthening. Sure. That, that's supposed to help it. And I did this for quite a long time, and it didn't help because it, it was just too much with the massage to use my hands. Yeah. So I went to a massager. Right. And I um, – We needed mechanical advantage here. We needed a mechanical <laughs> advantage. This the massage guns work really well because they really translate – is that what you call it, Brad? They – percuss right quite well right you've got this motion you know this and then you have to get a massage gun that does it not one that just vibrates right you have to have one that's it travels forward and backwards yeah you can see go ahead bob and uh, well you don't want to skimp on these either brad because my my nephew just bought one of these yeah and uh he said it was just junk yeah. And so I sent them one of ours. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. so we actually have some. And ours actually a good quality. They're great price. And they have our name on them, too, Bob and Brad. So if you want to get one that you know is going to work, you know, these will. Well, that's kind of a cute little one, Brad. But yeah. that's still pretty powerful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'll do the job. This one's better. Um, now, when I was doing this, um, I would do it not only to the end of the muscle. I did actually go on to the kneecap a little yep. bit, believe it or not. And that's where this round uh, head Right. It comes with a bunch of head attachments. Right. They, they both come with five different heads. Obviously, you know, you're not going to use this one around your patella. It would be a, that's a whole nother. So I just gently piece. rolled it on top of the patella. There must have been some scar tissue there, Brad. So if you look at Brad's knee, I, I'm rolling it right around. And I it actually was comfortable to do it through my clothes. Now, see, now these travel this way. And we're doing it sideways for yeah. a reason, because if we went up and down. Look at the bump, bumping on my yeah, bread. And it's actually pretty painful. So that's, and that's just what, you know, you would do that if it was up in the muscle belly. Yeah, then you can hit. Then you really may go that tight. direction. But we're going to go sideways and get that cross friction benefit over that tendon. And it's not going to irritate the patella. And again, now, now if this makes your pain worse, don't do it. I right. mean, if, if you do it on the, you know, hit the top of the kneecap and it, ah, uh, yeah. but it felt so good to me. I, I'm I kidding you, Brad. It was 80% better within two treatments of this. Oh, really? I mean, it, it seriously was. And now, how, took, yeah, and your fingers didn't get so. No, no. Fatigued. I mean, they could sit, I could sit yeah. and do this all day. I mean, yeah. it's, it's an easy thing to do. And that's why. 
there are certain things when you need to do a massage where a mechanical massage works a lot better. Right. I mean, it just it just does, and especially when you get the big muscles, you know, piriformis, yep. uh, hamstring, calf. You know, I think you you need a massager. And the the other thing is is if you're an active person or you have an active family, other people in the family, uh, you're. That other people are going to use these. They're, well, it's they're, not like you're going to use it for your tear and then leave it set. Yeah, you know? they're actually good for uh, pre-workouts. Yeah, I mean because they really get the muscle pliable. So if you're having a tr problematic muscle, yep. that you know, explain like your hamstrings. Uh, make sure you massage it before you actually work out or you participate in that sporting event, so you can make sure that you, you're much less likely to tear it. Now, this morning I went for a run and I actually got uh, irritated my calf muscle a little bit. It kind of bothered know. me because I got a week of good running yet before snowballs come down, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to work my uh, calf muscle and it just feels great. It's just it's just fun to do. You can. Uh, I bet you everybody loves watching us use this thing. <laughs> <don't they? laughs> no, but seriously, for the quadricep, like we mentioned, yeah. that's the treatment of choice uh, that we recommend. Um, but again, they're, they're just a nice device. The thing is, you can certainly start with your hand to see if you get some relief from that. Right. But, uh, to be honest, I didn't get much relief from it, Brad, because uh, it was just too much. It's too hard. Once it starts to feel better, you can go to Google Bob and Brad uh, quadricep or leg strengthening, and you'll see the next step when it feels better to yeah. start strengthening that muscle again. Yeah, hey, remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. And we're continuing to work on that. I'm, I'm, we're so qualified. <laughs> <laughs> From the neck up. Yeah, well, yeah whatever. All right. Carry on. Thanks.